Technology. Technology is huge, first of all. And I know this is not new, but I've just been newly noticing it more and more that within technology, there are all of these sub niches, like, and, and they have the word tech, right? Health tech, fintech, martech, biotech. So I thought I would just take a little look. Some weird sound. Um, to show you a few, like the range of technology, if that is an area you're interested in, because technology is obviously the future and um, it's probably a good market, a very viable market, depending, I mean, even adding the word technology to an old market seems to be updating it and making it a little bit more viable. That's kind of my point. So with that said, let me share my screen again. So I always start on the page on my website, which will be changing soon, but the link will be the same. So it's a list of trade associations and trade shows that I've been building for many years, actually. You can see all of the um, categories. And within each category, I have links to essentially associations mostly, as well as events. So under technology, uh, I wanna show you just a few of the ones that are here, but there are quite a few. So the first one I wanna show you is TAG. Since I'm in Georgia, I have to start with Georgia. So Technology Association of Georgia, tagonline.org. But I like them because they really have so many different angles that they're approaching it from. So uniting Georgia's technology community, and you can see under chapters and societies, all the different options, including, as I was saying, FinTech and manufacturing and marketing and uh, data governance. I mean, there are just so many different aspects of technology. So if you're anywhere near Georgia, this would probably be a good place to start. Even women in technology, supply chain and logistics, it's really just very comprehensive. So the other thing I like about what they're doing is they just have tons of events. So this is for strategic networking, right? Going in person, in real time, to meet the people that you want to work with. So I'll just scroll through a little bit. Oh, look, this is today. We missed it, 7.15 a.m., they had TAG Marketing presented a CMO roundtable, Secrets to Being a Marketing Superhero. Now, if you were in Atlanta, I think that's where it is. Oh no, Marietta. I don't know how close that is to Atlanta. Um, probably close, but if you were anywhere near there, that would be good if you're a designer, a copywriter, a marketer, uh, an illustrator, uh, any of those marketing services, this would be a good place to meet prospects because it's a marketing oriented event. But even if you didn't go, you could see who the panelists were. And I just want to emphasize again that the benefit of events is not only attending them. Because even if you can't go, there's a lot of information you can harvest and learn from on the event websites, including actual prospects you could do your homework on and reach out to and say, oh, I missed your event. We didn't get to meet there, but blah, blah, blah. So you can see here, they have several other events happening today. If anyone is in the area and wants to go, here's something on Saturday, here's something on Monday for manufacturing, tag manufacturing and society of manufacturing engineers. So there's just a lot that they have to offer. Highly recommended. All right, then, because I used to live in New Jersey, I know a little bit about the market in New Jersey, and this is one of the resources that I also highly recommend, New Jersey Tech Council, which, just as a little aside, is now run by Aaron Price, who started 
the uh, New Jersey Tech Meetup, which was a very large and active, and still is, I think, uh, relatively active monthly meeting in Hoboken that I used to attend. And really, um, it was great fun meeting people and learning. And so if you're anywhere near there, I know Alan is in Hoboken. I don't know if you've ever been there, but that's a really good one. But anyway, he now runs the New Jersey Tech Council, and I'm showing you here, they have all sorts of resources to support technology in New Jersey, including uh, a list of members and events that they put on and resources that are available. This is the resource page. And so these are also more links to other resources that are not related to them, but could be good ways to meet the right people and or places to disseminate your content that speaks directly to the needs of these people. This is one of them that I clicked on. Let's see, where is it over here? Tech Launch. I clicked on that and I got this. Oh, and I guess the only thing that was interesting here is that there's something coming up on November 19th that's free that might be worth looking into. So if you're in that area, you might want to check it out. All right, then healthcare technology, health tech. So this comes in the form of a magazine, healthtechmagazine.net. And they also put on an event, I think called HIMSS 2019 in Orlando. I think it already happened. I can't remember, but again, it doesn't really matter because you can still access the information and find out who spoke and sometimes even find out who attended. Sometimes they make attendee lists available. But if you're interested in health tech, I think this is a good resource. And again, sometimes a place where you can eventually be a speaker and speak to the market on your topic, especially if it's marketing related. All right, just a couple more. Uh, so we did health, we did general, and now this is the Association for Manufacturing Technology. And one, what I like about this association, so it's a national membership. And let's see, I'm, they have events, but here I'm also looking for, oh, a member directory. There it is. Member directory. So often member directories are not available to the public, but this one is and you can browse by company name, by state, or by category, or by keyword. So this to me is just hitting the jackpot. Let's say California. And then here it gives you a list of links to their members in that location. So these are just links to the website. So again, you're gonna have to do your homework but it's a really good way to narrow down uh, who you might want to work with and then start your targeted outreach towards some of these companies. Let's see, I don't think we need to do that one. And then here's the last one, the Association for Financial Technology, FinTech. And uh, I clicked on their members page right here, our members. So as with most, um, associations, they'll sometimes tell you who their members are, but in a very general way. So this, there's no person to contact here. It's just about the company. And then it gives you a link to their website. So that's a good start. But a little shortcut is you look on LinkedIn for a group that is hosted by the association. So in this case, I looked for the Association for Financial Technology under groups. So if you search, you can search under groups and then put the keywords in or the name of the association and you should be able to find it. Most of them have it. And what you can learn here is that there are 707 professionals in this group. And so if you work between this list, let's say you're interested in Access Soft Tech, and you go over here, you need to join the group first. I'm not a member, but once you join, and most of them will let you in. Um, some won't, but most will. Uh, and I know that 
groups are not all that active and there's a lot of spam in the conversations, but that's not what we care about here. What we care about is the 707 professionals who are the members, and this is a way to get access to and then do your targeted outreach or connect with content to the people that you might be interested in introducing your services to. All right, so that's just a little shortcut. And finally, MarTech, which is marketing technology, which is really growing. Uh, this is an event, martechconf.com, and they have a West event and an East event. And for 2020, it's in April in the West and October in the East. But still, lots of good information on this website about the 2019 events that you could learn from. Let's see, I think I was looking for the exhibitor list. Well, even like you could be a speaker there, right? They're accepting session ideas. Actually, November 15th, the pitch form closes for the April, San Jose in April. So there's something. Uh, advisory board. So that's always interesting too uh, to see a, a spattering, a smattering of people involved in the organization. Doesn't give you contact information, but these are people you could actually reach out to. All right, so lots of just information, more events. And then also, whenever you come across a, a website like this, I would just always sign up for the email or the newsletter so that you, then you'll hear about it and you'll be able to follow up later on if now is not the time.